Good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert Smith. Thankful to be with you for your word for the day today. I got a maybe difficult question for you, and that is, how easy is it for you to admit that you're wrong? For me, it's quite difficult. I have a natural bent toward pride and arrogance that I have to intentionally fight against. So admitting fault or error for me is difficult. And for some of you, that may be similar. And if you are that way, you understand the danger that it is to live that way. One big issue is the damage that it can have on your relationships. Maybe it's with your spouse or family or friends or coworkers. All these people are affected if we don't intentionally share our errors and admit when we're wrong at the appropriate times. Additionally, it can really undermine our influence and trust that we have with other people because we're not living with honest humility towards others. And practically, we've probably all been at a place where our pride has preceded destruction, as Proverbs 16, 18 reminds us. But what we sometimes don't think about is how this way of living is actually a really big deal to God. See, Proverbs 16, 5 says that everyone who is arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. It says, be assured he will not go unpunished. And that's severe. Having an arrogant and prideful heart and outlook, it says, is an abomination to God. And it says that he will punish us. Now, that sounds severe, but the reason for this is because underneath the, the arrogant heart is an outlook that there is never fault and there's never need for help. And both of those perspectives are in opposition to the gospel. Because the gospel states that we've all messed up. We've all messed up bad enough that we need help from Jesus, and that's the only way we can get the help that we need. So if we take the perspective of not needing to admit that we're wrong and not needing help, we're taking a perspective and stance against the very message of Christ. So today, let me encourage you to take a posture of humility. Seek to openly admit when you have done wrong. And start this at home with admitting fault to your spouse or children when needed, and Maybe be prepared for the shock that comes if that's new for you. But be willing and ready to admit fault at work and with friends also. But more importantly, let me encourage you today to spend some time sharing your faults with God. Either as confession for the first time if you've never done this, or as just a humble act of thankfulness as you confess your wrongs and ask for God's help in those areas. Because I promise that simple act will build you up and help you draw closer to Christ as you take on his posture and perspective of humility. And it will also help make sure that your pride doesn't lead to destruction. We hope that you have a great and humble day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.